Hey guys, what's up in this video? I'll talk about the Galaxy S5 official hands on from MW Studio 2014. There's some photos that are leaked uh, from that event, and uh, the event hasn't just started at the moment. Uh, it will uh, start like two hours uh, um, after two hours, so uh, at 8 p.m. So, but there's a guy who has leaked the Galaxy S5 official hands on, and also uh, he is giving us some of the features, uh, pre leaks about the features. So, uh, perhaps the most interesting claim is that the Galaxy Galaxy S5 has a swipe uh, type fingerprint sensor embedded into the home button which will apparently allow you to make PayPal payments and also the Galaxy S5 is IP67 certified meaning it's water and dust proof just like the Sony Xperia Z2. The camera is said to be 16 megapixel one on the back and it's also interesting to note that the phone has gone through some rather minor but visible design changes. Uh, for starters the back has a rather aggressive dotted pattern uh, so no fox leather this time around more moreover a snap that puts the galaxy s5 next to the galaxy s4 the note 3 indicates that the phone has grown uh, precipitably uh, the screen looks slightly bigger and also i'm guessing that the waterproofing the phone had its adverse effects on its dimension and also there are visible changing in the software department too. touch face for one appears to have gone through some flapping and folders are definitely different uh, than what we used to uh, used to see the camera ui and along with the s health app has also been tweaked design wise and also um, there's a new feature called as download booster uh, that will come uh, preloaded on the galaxy s5 this feature will apparently allow you to download the files over 30 mb faster by using both LTE and Wi-Fi network so these are the photos that are uh, pre-leaked because you know we will definitely gonna see the Galaxy S5 two hours later from now at 8 p.m. but this is interesting to see that it is pre-leaked even though today is the event but it is leaked so these are the official photos from the MWC 2014 I repeat these are the official photos from the MWC 2014. This is the Galaxy S5, which is for real. It's not fake photos. These are actually real photos. So, yes, I will be making another video from detail, uh, detail look at the inside of this device, like specs and other stuff. So, yes, thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe for Day Tech videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out and like this video if you enjoyed. And yeah, bye. This coverage of MWC is brought to you by Bitdefender Mobile Security. It's past versus present on this edition of Versus, as it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S5 versus its predecessor, the Galaxy S4. <laughs> The Galaxy S5 is slightly larger and thicker than its predecessor due in large part to that big display. And the phone is also about 15 grams heavier. But the S5 does move away from the glossy feel of the S4 as Samsung has opted for a soft touch material for the back. On the front, we do still have the same uh, layout, but instead we have a change from the menu button of the S4 to a recent apps button for the S5. Now, one thing that the Galaxy S5 can definitely boast over the original S4 is its water and dust resistance. An IP67 certification helps it really stand the elements. As far as the screens go, we do have a slightly larger screen on the Galaxy S5, the Super AMOLED screen coming in at 5.1 inches compared to the 5 incher that was on the Galaxy S4. Yes, these are essentially identical screens, however, and that means that you have some oversaturated colors, but overall really good and enjoyable performance in that user experience for the display. While we do see a big update in the processing package for the Galaxy S5, we will say that the Snapdragon 600 that was originally in the S4 is still doing a great job even to this day. And that should only mean that the Galaxy S5 will really set a higher bar when it comes to processing power. But then when we move on to the hardware department, we'll, we will find that the Galaxy S5 does have a slightly larger battery, jumping from the 2600 milliamp hour unit in the S4 to the 2800 milliamp hour uh, unit on the S5. What we will say, however, is that the Snapdragon 805 in theory should be more power frugal. And also Samsung added in quite a few options for power saving. When it comes to the new features, however, everything that came from the S4 does make it to the S5, and then you have the additions of the fingerprint scanner, which is a slide type, and also the heart rate monitor that is found on the back. 
when it comes to the cameras we do see that the 13 megapixel unit on the galaxy s4 is looking to be trumped by the 16 megapixel iso cell sensor that has been introduced in the galaxy s5 this is a sensor that is supposed to take pictures with less noise and even in low light conditions produce a very nice picture now the app on the s5 has also been redone from the s4 touting all of its settings when you hit the settings button everything comes up that you'll be able to tweak for good smartphone photography and in the end we do see that the s5 is looking to just be a better camera overall compared to the s4 and finally, when it comes to software, we were really hoping that there was going to be a big evolution from the S4 to the S5 when it comes to TouchWiz. Unfortunately, some of the aspects of TouchWiz were changed, but not enough to, in order to make it really feel like a big difference. The inclusion of a recent apps button on the S5 does allow it to have a little bit more multitasking that is more easily accessible, as you can just jump in and out of apps very easily instead of having to hold the home button in the S4. And finally, the My Magazine UI has been brought to the front and is now a second screen all the way on the left, much like a Google Now in stock Android. So it does change a few of the aspects, but in the end, TouchWiz still pretty much looks like TouchWiz. So if you were expecting a big change between the S4 and S5, you probably didn't get it here. In the end, both of these phones do represent some of the best that Samsung has had to offer. And in terms of the S5, it just continues that tradition. Whether or not all of the new things are going to be useful for you is definitely a question that you can answer for yourself. But the S4 is definitely no slouch, so it doesn't deserve to just be dismissed in this comparison. We have a lot more coming on the Samsung Galaxy S5, so make sure you stay tuned to Android Authority as we report it all to you from the Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona, Spain.